But major changes are coming to the Circle Center Mall. After years of discussions, they are close to finalizing their plans for the future. Lindsay Stone has the latest on the massive redevelopment that could revitalize the space. Lindsay? Well, earlier this year, Circle Center Development Co., who owns the mall, committed to a transformative revamp of the space. And they've spent the last several months looking to partner with the developer to revamp the one million square foot campus. And they're in the midst of listening to pitches to redesign that space. Attorney Adam Collins, who represents the ownership group, told me that plans have been submitted for all kinds of ideas for the space, including residential apartments, business space, even entertainment venues. But Collins says this is a pretty complicated project. That's because the city owns the land and the ownership group owns the existing building. The mall was also built within two historic districts, meaning special rules and conditions apply. Developers say they're also going to need some public support, which could mean taxpayer dollars. The next step is really to figure out um, of those available options, really what's possible and, you know, what does the ownership group and our, our, our civic, you know, stakeholders, so the city of Indianapolis, the state of Indiana, what do they want to see happen at that space? And so uh, the process we're in right now and what we're going through is kind of determining what is the most appropriate way for us to reach out to uh, groups of developers who have the ability to come in and tackle this project. Collins says they're looking to move as quickly as possible to determine what is next for Circle Center Mall. They're currently sifting through those proposed development plans and hope to be making a decision soon. As for the price tag, developers have been fairly tight-lipped about how much they're willing to spend on the revamp project or how much the mall structure might remain. Collins said the ultimate goal is to create a new mixed-use district in downtown Indianapolis, but he says it's just too early to tell how much that development would cost. Here in the studio, Lindsay Stone, Fox 59 News.